Alright, hi there. I'm Phase Zero from Tricky Yeti, and I'll be doing probably a series of solo playthroughs. I've had recent inspiration from some watching some other channels of playing games from my childhood. So, why not start off with possibly what is my favorite game, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Uh, it's an older game. It's probably one of the last good games that Super Nintendo ever had, I think, because right around the time that this came out, N64 was launching with Super Mario 64 and the likes of those, and then shortly after Ocarina of Time and everything that everyone considers the greatest games of all time. To me, this is probably the greatest game. This is one of the first games that I've ever... One, I think it actually is the first game I ever finished as a kid. So it stuck with me, the experience. Yeah, everything. Everything about it. Epic. Even though half the characters aren't Mario characters. I don't know, I guess I was in here before, so let's just get out of here. Yes, claymation graphics, basically. Let's get into this. I haven't done a game yet, so let's just get started. I guess we'll just go with what'll be familiar. Really shitting the bed right now. There we go. Done. Oh, that's why. I'm gonna be phase zero because I wasn't paying attention and the R would not fit. Hi. Right. I'm gonna do as little skipping as possible for those of you who have not played this game. And if you have not played this game, I recommend. Probably the cheaper route would be to get the Wii and play it on the virtual system like I am. If you want to be dedicated and find an original cartridge for it, you can probably find it on eBay. I've seen them ranging anywhere from 100 to $350 for this game alone. Alright, so it starts off traditional any Mario game. Bowser gets Peach. Except for the, right now, we don't have to play through that generic 8 world, for some reason, the long-ass trek that Bowser makes every year to kidnap Peach. No, we're just going to start off in the castle. There we go, there's... I gotta see if I can remember all these controls. Y to run faster. B to jump. Oh, it's been a while. I love this game, though. Alright. So, I just want to attack. Get down that action! Yeah! You gotta get the timing down. I'll probably teach you a little bit later, but... So you push A, and you go... As he punches, you punch again. Um, get, gotta get the blocking. You can do it for blocking as well. Destroy them. Mario's too OP for these guys anyways. Take him out. I'm not good at the blocking yet. That'll have to fix. Let's do a jump. 42 attack. Alright. There's no XP here, so I really don't need to kill these guys, but I gotta get my practice down. Love the sound effects in this game. Oh boy, here we go. Four. Alright, so one down. Let's see if I can get it. Still not doing it. I gotta get that timing down. Sorry about that timing. Alright. So yeah, like I said, this game was released in 96, so <laughs> if we want to do the math, depending on when in the year it was released, I think it was either 5 or 6 years old. I was started playing video games, oh, can I attack the fireballs? No. Uh, I have a feeling, how much money do I bet this bridge is going to collapse? Uh, sorry. But yeah, I started playing video games when I was about 3 or 4. Super Mario was obviously probably my first, like many of you. Got plopped down from a system. Oh, shh. Sh. However, will Mario get up to Bowser? Oh! Epic jump! Don't let Bowser bruise you. Bruise you, Mario. Right, because he's not trying to kill me, he's trying to bruise me. For the great being. Wow! Epic translation miscue. Peach tells tells me not to let Bowser bruise me. 
Oh, there we go. There's the block. And Bowser says, get ready for the Great Beyond, because he wants to kill me. Thank you, Peach. Oh, look at that. Two hits, and I got that shit down. Bowser's freaking out. <laughs> Chain reaction. Love it. Clink, clink. Epic fall. Coming, Mario? Give me a few seconds of untying Peach. Oh, that kind of coming. Right. Fight, Mario. Fight. Fight what? <laughs> Nothing's happening. This should finish you. And down we go. Quickest Mario Bowser fight ever. Did you think I was just gonna give her to you? You're always in my way. At least he's using proper grammar. That. First he's gonna kill me, now he's gonna buy me dinner. Aw, he's upset. He's hating life. Crying as he falls. Again, epic jump. Somehow, just makes it onto that clink clink. There's no music. You had me so worried. Let's get out of here. As she's tied up, somehow, thousands of feet above the ground level. Oh, she's gonna fall. Oh no, why is she falling? And I guess this is where we cue Onyx's contribution to the world of Mario. New enemies. Giant sword. Still to do with the stars, but the sword just crashes into Bowser's castle. We get the title screen. Which I guess I can't skip anyways. Don't know, there's not a whole lot happening. Seven stars scatter around the world. Now for those of you who have played on the N64, maybe weren't really NES gamers, or at least didn't play this game, if you played Paper Mario, you recognize that it too has something to do with, but this time it's Bowser collecting the power of the seven stars, trying to make himself epic. This is basically the spiritual successor to that. I think this was after Nintendo and Square Onyx kind of had their falling out, and Nintendo wanted to make a sequel to this game, they never got around to it, so they made their own, Paper Mario. Instead of clay, they made him out of paper, and they give it, instead of having like a Final Fantasy-esque RPG battle system. They have a one on two side-scrolling action system. Now, down. Down something. Oh, my God. Okay. Guess that's sleep. Didn't really want to do that. I want to get out of the bed. Oh, sorry about that snot bubble when he's sleeping. It's gross. Come on, Mario. Secrets around here. Alright, let's just do this. Let's do this. Anything back here? Oh, Mario. Oh, Mario, let's save. There we go. Oh, Fazio. Yes. <laughs> yes. There's the epic save. Hey, I thought the princess was with you. So, where is she? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Has Mario ever spoken? In dialogue. What do you mean, silent treatment? But, but, I just beat Bowser. You want me to... <sighs> I have to go fight Bowser. Only if there's a sword sticking out of the top. That's not normal. Slow. <laughs> Double take. What? Talking sword! The Smithy Gang. It's our first step towards taking over this world. And if it weren't for nosy characters like you, characters, <laughs> we'd practically own this world. So let's see you deal with this. <laughs> Jibber jabber. Right, so Mario can epic jump. 500 feet in the air, but we can't... Oh, that is a pretty big chasm to cross, I will admit that. 
not too pleased about that. Vista Hill. Well, I can. Is it just the same thing? Right. Right. Get out of here. Leave. Leave. So I guess we have to go back and tell Toad that Bowser got smart. Bowser took out his bridge. Didn't really understand why Bowser had a bridge. I mean, he has the flying helicopter of sorts, so he can just go into a window or like have a landing pad on his roof. And he kept a bridge, so Mario could come in, stop by for tea. All oh, right, epic reenactment. Floating in midair, waits, is out now. Just wonderful. The Chancellor of Mushroom Kingdom. Right. There's a chancellor. Wouldn't it be king? Wouldn't he be a king if she's if there's Princess Peach? Oh, oh. That bump on your head. Reduce. <laughs> Save the mushroom. Do you know how to use items? I do. But if I'm gonna make this as epic as a let's play as possible, let's do it. You're just so well. Oh, did I just say I know how to use them? Crap. Sorry! <laughs> I was gonna... Oh, well. I was gonna make him show us. <laughs> Hello, Goomba. You just barely made it back, eh? Alright, well, let's clear some shit out. Do you know what... Time to hitch. That's what I was talking about. Alright, now... I will let you guys see it. No, I don't. There. Now I'll show you guys what I meant. Little toad tutorial. First push A. Okay. Oh, now. Pick one. How do you push A again to attack? Okay, there we go. Wait a second. Hit A again here. Okay, so as he's winding up. Epic. Good timing. When successful, your attack changes and damage increases. Hit A prior to attack, too. Epic, zero damage. They won't always work, though. Well, now try, okay. Epic freeze, two Marios! <laughs> on the menu. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Toad. Read about him. Read about him, okay? Alright. I'll read about him. And there you are. Now at least you have a fighting chance again. I'm Mario, bitch! I always have a fighting chance. What did you want to tell me? Right! You said that inside. Oh, okay. Three more mushrooms. Thank you. Mushroom way. I guess mushroom. I guess Mario doesn't know how to directly get to the kingdom. All right. We can fix that. Ah! What? Toad doesn't want to fight with me? Oh, I could use his help. Two is always better than one. I love the music in this game. Oh, that's why he's not fighting with me. Hate life. I never understood. In most other games, you never give anything a chance to attack you. But in here, Mario's like, I gotta make this shit fair. I've been, I've been destroying these Koopas and these Goombas way too much. I gotta share the wealth a little bit. Three. Good thing these are weak as tits. Mario, finally earning experience points. I love it. Whoa! I think the Goombas don't do that in Mario World. Three experience points. Alright, I'm just gonna use the mushroom here. Running low on health. Alright, yeah, just see ya. 